Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 7 of Crucible Solo Self Found League leveling my second character. It is going to be a ranger, the Widow Hail Herald. Whoa, momentum support. No pierce anymore? Okay, it's a lot to read. It's supposed to work like onslaught for movement speed. I think. I guess I hit three times and then it'll go off for 1.5 seconds. So I lose it all when I move. I have to get to three to use it. Hmm. I don't think I need momentum or burning arrow. Oh, this requires level 20. Maybe that's because of the crucible passive tree on it. I don't think it was normally like that. So maybe I did that. Okay, I have a ice shot, vault ice shot. I think that's what I'm going to be playing around with. I'll bring vault caustic arrows to just level a bunch of gems. Okay, ramble check. Easy. Uh, I have a fin coil. That'll be an easy way to start with this, actually. I could use the Bloodthorn, too. I've never done that. Just play Reflect. Okay, I have the Ice Shots, Caustic Arrow, Spectral Throw leveling on off hands. Now I need to figure out something else to do to get to level 20. And maybe we can pull this off. Um, Minion steal additional cold damage. You can equip this at level 1. <laughs> okay, raise zombie. Bring in it and a storm blast mine. Prismatic burst supports spells. Can't be used for minions. Hmm. I don't know about that actually. Zombies are only dealing cold damage, so they can't poison. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Play with zombies and storm blast mines and a reflect build on a ranger to level 20. Okay. The, the helmet is needed. Unwavering stance means I'm going to get hit. Increased area of effect. And it's max world life. I don't have to hit stuff and it's just gonna die. Yup. Bring zombies. And then I play Stormblast Mine. Oh, this guy. Rip. Nice. So, I don't gotta worry about anything. I can just run through here. Zombies will kill stuff. Anything that hits me should die. Yeah. That's what it's seeming like. I, I would like the zombies not to die because they definitely kill things with this amulet. Without a doubt. Nice. Parasodemus. Oh yeah, zombies do some damage. I want Pierce. I want Frost Blink. Summon Phantasm on the zombie. Does that not work? Oh, that's not where I put it. There we go. Can use Animate Weapon now. Vol Animate Weapon. I want to see what it does. I've never used it. I want to look at it. Cool. I have another minion that is getting all this extra flat cold damage. Wow. The animate weapon is like destroying stuff. Oh, nice. More weapons. Pick them up. I think they're on a duration. They don't transfer between areas. What does this do? And lingering blades. I need to make lingering blades. That's how I can make it work all the time. So it picked up a, it made a unique, maybe multiples. Hmm. All right. Well, I pushed the button. It only works on melee weapons. Okay, now I can get a melee splash for whatever minions I have going on. So I need an EK so that I can make blades summon. Yeah, that'll work. Rim Sorrow, sure. Mana Forged Arrows. Supports bow attack skills, causing them to trigger when you've spent enough mana in total on other bow attacks. Cannot modify the skills of minions. Cannot support totems, traps, mines, vol skills, or channeling skills. Okay, it has a cooldown. Interesting. Throw added cold damage on the EK. Converting everything to cold already. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to click on them. Not necessarily. They do go away after a time, but that's so many extra minions. Looks like I might have a max number of five. I actually don't even need to use the summons for Brutus, I don't think. And cursed with vulnerability. Mm. He need like minion speed. They're not fast enough. I guess I take precision. Ooh, sniper's mark would be good for me now. But I'm using EK. Oh, I didn't talk to him like once. <laughs> he just gave me three gems and a skill void. More attributes. I'm just stacking them now because I know I'm gonna be doing that. Vitality, clarity. I guess the other thing I need to think about passive tree wise, I need to get to Discord Artisan, I think. So whatever we're doing, it's going to get up here to potentially Heart of Ice. I think I just kind of send it that way. Get some life along the way. Probably eventually come down here and get this dexterity. I guess that takes me, that takes me by the end one too, doesn't it? Yeah, right here. So I can get two attributes. All right, Mervale. Let's see what happens here. I hit the Vol skill. And so many minions. Direct. 
easy. It's such a strange concoction of build. There goes Nice. Bye bye. It's unlinked animate weapons. Specking into nothing but attributes. Exile has no chance. I'm up to seven animate weapons that I can use. Cold resistant enemy. Yikes. Converting all their damage into cold. Delitus. I go down just as easily. Zombies blocking lightning strike looks like. Yeah. All the ice time. We have minion speed gym. Yes, I do. Good. That'll help. So now I have animate weapon linked with summon phantasm minion speed and melee splash. I have a pain to summon seven of them, but then they'll get rolling, making more minions along the way, and they'll just clear stuff. All right, killing Creighton. Let's go. I'm just going to stand here and wait. And there's Creighton. Okay, bye bye Oak. If he can hang, he's trying actually, but he can't make it. And it was fun, but I'm level 20. That means I can put on the Widow Hail. 228% increased bonuses from equipped quivers. In there is definitely going a full ice shot. Put on the Sedimas, throw the added cold damage, the pierce maybe, two barracks grips. Perfect. That's cold and lightning res on those. So, branch blazon's fine. That's some fire res. Deleting these minion gems. Keep the volley enemy weapon though, that was cool. And grab some life mana leech. Hopefully that's no issue. Helmet, and give me onslaught. That's cool. And I need a quiver. I have a crag head that I can use. Only quiver I have that I can use. This is just some flat fizz. But it gets in crazy increased effect. It's gonna have crazy stuns. And I've got a bunch of flat damage from gear. What do we got here? Okay, that's one arrow. So, probably want LMP instead of Pierce. Full damage is okay. Only want Life Tap. Maybe not. Maybe Weapon Elemental Damage and Crit Chance. A little better. It feels really slow. The bow looks really, really cool. I'll just go ahead and do this with the Herald of Ice. Turn on the Gloom Herald Effect. Okay, it appears that things are dying. I have nothing else but these arrows. The stuns are crazy. Stunning this red beast here. No, it's not a red beast. It just has two things. What a beast. What about this? I stun you. Yep. Stun the essence mob. Definitely killing Lyra too. This is going to take longer than last time, but okay. I can stun her permanently. Almost. Not quite. Crits will stun, but <laughs> Wow. It's doubling the effectiveness of this quiver. Stunning a rare that's cold resistant. Four passive points. Oh. Attack speed, attack speed, attack speed. Tax fire additional projectile. Let's go. Where's the other one? It's right here. Master Fletcher. Okay. That's probably where I go next. I haven't used the ball skill at all yet. I'll use that in the weaver. Okay. Let's see what it does. Boom. Get him. Get him. Ah. <laughs> There we go. Nice, I got the ball ice shot. I want to hit this drop bear unique with the vol ice shot wherever it is. Oh, looks like I went right past it somehow. Hmm, let's try this. Can I level start leveling this up? The top side is really good for this, but the bottom side is definitely the way. 63% and then ball skill. Them take care of it. Yeah, I got like none of the way there. What about vol? Do I unleash it on the first phase when he pops? I don't know. I think I wait. Make sure it dies. It might have worked. Come on. Here we go. No, they didn't get him. Gone. Go. Lab will be helpful. Is there a quiver I can use yet? No, level 31 gets me a block quiver. Okay. Level 36 gets drill neck with a bunch of increased effect. I could try and make a quiver. I am level 24. I can get a penetrating quiver. And it will get an additional pierce, won't it? Because of the bow. It wrecked. The vol ice shot's very cool. No quivers. Why did he get wrecked? Well, no cursor. I have a mark that I probably could use somewhere. On the offhand. There's no green sockets currently. Right. I also need to replace my amulet. Our charts a lot of resists and attributes. Definitely a solid choice. Frenzy and power charge. Level 25, open me up for this 
belt. Bunches of damage. Probably go for a little hoop instead of one of these. I don't think I need the Praxis. Good. Pop characters really quick and grab these Heterochromia cards. See what these two stone rings are. This is the one that adds cold and another one. Cool. My attributes already look in game ready. Wild. And I can't even use that item until level 66. Low attacks, fire additional projectile. Next, I go for King of the Hill. You get the crit chance that comes with it. I want to do lab. Still before piety, but let's do it. Cool swords. How's my fire res? 49. Okay. And there's the vol skill. And that should be it. He gave me the vol skill real early this time. Oh, I died. Fire res. F. I get out on Gravisius. Oh, he is super tanky still. Or I just need a quiver that does some kind of anything damage related. Penetrating arrow quiver. Look at that. Sure. I'll get it. Nope. I want better. Damage with both skills. I want big flat damage. Crit chance multi damage. 1271 to 2111. Probably put this ring on. Should have done that a long time ago. That's better fire res. Can do a fox shade, but not brisk wrap yet. Well, that's some extra speed for sure. Arrows pierce three targets, it says. Okay, seems good. All I shot coal. Ah, get wrecked. 100% crit chance. What about piety? What have you ever done but serve yourself? You want some ice shot? Ha ah. <laughs> ha. Let's grab some all res on the tree and go back into lab. Okay, sniper's marks involved this time. Took out all the golems really easily that way. Still no ice shot. And I took out portals because of it. Oops. All right, let's not die in the fire. This time I'll use the ball ice shot first and let's go. Give no quarter. You bye bye, Azaro. All right, dead eye for sure. I want endless munitions. Probably should take far shot to endless munitions. Chain sounds fun. I did the last time with ice shot. Tailwind is good as well. Let's go far shot though. That's how it's going to be set up at first. Red beast can have some. Bye bye. And swap to the brisk wrap now. Lose the 30% speed, but that's okay. More decks, more damage. I think for Dominus, I save the vault for the final phase. Just kill the rest of them. Because it's easy. Oh yeah. Okay then, Dominus. Oh, I lost the mark. Mark would have made that go better. But running through the aqueduct's gonna be pretty nuts. Because most things are just going to die. Level 36. That means drill neck time. 9% attack speed. Big fizz damage. Arrows do increase damage with hits and ailments to targets they pierce. And I just three shot Nightwing on my own before that. So yeah, gonna have damage. Ball skill now. We went the mark. Forget about the mark. And I got Rampage going on now. We might be getting close to the point that it might be hard to ever see enemies on my screen. Because they're just going to die. I wish I could just kill Duresso. This is phase one. Phase one Duresso. <laughs> Boom. Bye bye. No mark. What about Piety? Kind of get belted. Didn't completely take her down. I was also really close to Piety. I got far shots, so staying away actually gets me more damage. Chevron enjoyed some ice shot there. It was very fun and satisfying ball skill. Algar can have some too. <laughs> I'm gonna take LMP out for this. I already get additional projectiles. Should give me more damage. Alright. Final heart is gone. And Malachi is gone. Oh, it's cool. I have a summon ice golem just because everything else has been pretty automated. It'll be a good one. Well, I shot just a car, Casticus. I don't know with the mark, am I piercing those enemies still to get the big damage bonus from the drill neck? What I should do is I should switch to an assassin's mark just to get rid of that possibility and some power charges that way. 
Yeah, it's not looking like it's piercing. Really easy though. Everything that pops up dies. I could, I'm probably capable of getting one shot here for it to get hit, but I also do lots of damage. Resists are about to fall a bit. Up in cold as of the chest. We start getting XP on this. I'm at 7330. 82%. Ball skill. Um, seemed easy enough. I got 6,000. Should get some kind of ballista totem. Just so I have some kind of extra damage. Ooh, ow, yikes. The ball skill on Brutus. Probably shouldn't have, but I'm curious if I can build it back up on the Chevron phase of the fight. Use it again. Looking plausible. Oh yeah, got it. Get wrecked. Here we can definitely get away with it. I know I can pull it up on the way. The phase number two. And there goes Avarath. I feel like he got a little burst of damage reduction maybe when he's summoning his other goats. And Rislatha can have the Vol skills. I can't see the boss. Oh, it moved. Ah, half. points i think i start working towards forces of nature that alley pin will be good okay i want to add something in here golem stays alive that's fine but i, I can have a whole other five link well, i mean i'm also actually one level away from the herald chest i just wait for that uh, i want to see what's up with this artillery ballista it'll get a weapon elemental damage it will multiple totems and what faster attacks sure cool bunch of totems a great place to see what they do i guess they're gonna have to level they're not doing that much well i mean okay they spread there's lots of targets around they spread pretty crazy yeah damage is pretty solid that time oh i died and the ball skill this time bye bye I don't like the prox bubbles. Artillery ballista is very cool looking though. I am enjoying looking at that. I have to have opened up some new quivers. Yeah, here we go. One's got cast speed, lightning damage per 10 int. Here we've got spell block, attack block. Okay, let's see what this does. Defensively, I have no block. Put this on, I have 75 attack block, 49 spell block. That's a, that's, that's a lot of spell block. That's a lot of block. Just from this one shield with this bow. That's insane. The armor is crazy as well. I had 109 armor. This has 422. Yeah, there's definitely a build here, without a doubt. You're going to have to find a way to scale your damage elsewhere, but you have lots of block with bows. This is just attack speed, a little bit of fire damage. Can't do anything with the soul strike. And that would add a bunch of flat chaos. Bunch of energy shield. Oh, there'd be a lot of energy shield coming off of this. There's so much fun stuff to do with this bow. Level 53. Now I can go get the Herald Chest. We'll get an Ice Bite on the Herald of Ice. I'll grab a Herald of Thunder as well. Get Power Charge on Crit on there. Troll Destruction. Conk Effect. And probably increased AoE as well. And that's just for the Herald of Ice. There is unique art for this chest too. It's cool. Oh, wow. And Valskill. And he not going to let me damage him. That's okay. Got him. I've been getting power charges, but not been getting frenzy charges for some reason. Maybe the packs aren't tied enough. Get him. Ah. Uh... Thousand points, what to do? This life. I grabbed this life. Resists are not looking amazing coming into the lab. I be careful, I should be okay though. Royals and golems. Super easy though. Uh so we get the ball I shot up. And oh goodness. And then kill Zaro. Yeah, super easy. Oh no no. Oh, ascendancy skills fire two additional projectiles. This is probably where I can drop the LMP and 
Maybe if I put the ice bite on the ice shot, it'll actually work. I'll get frenzy charges. So for this boss, swap in barrage support for ice bite. And then we fire a barrage of ice with artillery ballistas. Is this better? I have no clue. I know it's better from farther away though. I should do that. we will come way back here and then wail away. Out and rip. There's our Akali. I didn't even use the ball skill. That would have made some kind of difference on our Akali for sure. Definitely think the barrage swap is a good idea. Get um, ice shots. Ah, okay. Dead. Still wasn't pretty, but I'm sure this damage is just falling off. And I was standing on top of Dodri there. Does not help the far shot if you don't use it. I wonder if I can start doing this yet. 76. Went from 76 to 95. Okay, so I might be able to start it getting it to move. The artillery ballistas are so cool looking. But it's even better this league with the two additional projectiles you could just get for free on the tree. More ball I shot. Gambling Legion's dead. I'm flying right now. Yikes, some big bleeds. I feel like my build is so good. <laughs> It's it's still just not even close to a, what I'm expecting here in a few levels. Not even close. More passive points. Int, int. Passive. I'll get another frenzy charge. Wow, the damage. One down. And there's Lunaris. Oof. Four levels away. I think I'm going to farm that here in the Blood Aqueduct real quick. I really want to play with the bow or the quiver. I don't have to think to farm this zone. Run in straight line and push button. Pretty much. Things shatter. Hey, a Stygian Spire. I actually have seen one now. And ball I shot it. Ha ah, ha. Stygian Vies and dead bone. An exalted orb yo that's huge i need that for my other build on the mace that's a six link bow bad bow though all absolution level 66 okay it is time 180 strength 346 and 635 decks so we will get to see here how exactly this works because we have 15 cold res so 228 increased should be 49.2 on the cold res, which would put me at 94, which it did. Okay, so insane resists off of this. Damage of ice shot goes from 10,815 to 20,206. That's a lot more damage. So I think the added cold goes here. What gym do I put in its place? GMP? Go crazy with it? It drops back down to what it was without having another four projectiles because that's totally ne necessary right i'd like to use trinity too much cold damage for trinity could go chain with it what is that two chains because it shouldn't have any pierce anymore with this let's go see what it does it should start tearing through stuff here we go strong box one shot left five monsters i guess as i love what i just need to keep stacking the attributes Go hunting down the more ideal gear. Black Suncrest, Cyclopean Coil. I don't know that Chain is the right gym either. Chain actually links to the Vol Ice Shot. So it really has kind of pulled off the damage that Vol Ice Nova can pull off. The Chain though, the clear is wild. Smite Staff, Soul Rest. Trigger Summon Phantasm when you consume a corpse. 
Oh, here's a foothills waypoint. I think that's where I'm going to stop for today. A little bit tired, so we will continue with the Widow Hail Hoist Prism build next time. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you all next one. Cheers.